coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing time it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick jumping high kick so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight yeah if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight most it's people over. believe yeah his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana, El Diablo. And now to his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your plan. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out don't wait you hit him first yeah, come on. big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one up much improved defensively as he blocks the shot Misses with the right hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Counter punch landed there by Lee. Oh, Superman punch is good. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Ooh, big shot land. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just missing on the uppercut there. Try to establish that jab. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Let's go. Ooh, -wee. Ooh -wee, what a right hand by this young man. Lands flush with that right hand. Over and over, he lands with big body kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Big kick lands. Rips the body there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That's a nice strike. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Slips the punch nicely there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing 
showing every part of himself, including big leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Nice strike. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many arrows. Can't take too many arrows. You better check. Flips the punch. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Take the shot. Take the shot. Shoot. Attempt that one was blocked. Throwing that jab, no good. Take it to the ground. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Kick to the body by Lee. Slips the shot. To the left side. Well placed kick there by Lee. Quick leg kick. Nice loop and punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, big head kick there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Checks that leg kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Good fight. Is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. And he landed the right hand there. Stay strong, keep moving. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 15 seconds. And that left hook landed on the button. Real sneaky body kick. Good punch, Lance. Round three next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery wet or something. I would fall right into a knee.
no, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Third round underway. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Dig and kick. Missed. Oh, nice job to block the kick. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got to move back. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. And he's back up. Switching stances here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Nice kick. Hook is there again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow! He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fist. Oh, man. Beautiful leg kick. Keep your hands up. Protect your face. Keep moving. how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big punch lands. Ooh. Blocks the shot. Right punches there. Oh, and he lands the front kick there. Not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to... No! Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his Oh, he might be out.
Gets winding down in round three. Oh, big first land. How about those five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. for five five-minute rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Punches blocked. That was a thudding lift. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Back to the feet. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that oh. level. He's out. He got him. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number four. You're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.